Let's fall in love. Why shouldn't we fall in love? Our hearts are made of it. Let's take a chance. Why be afraid of it? Let's close our eyes and make our own paradise. Little we know of it, still we can try to make a go of it. We might have been meant for each other. To be or not to be, let our hearts discover. Hello, I'm Donna Phelan. Welcome Why to Perspective. Today I'm delighted to have with me as my guest, jazz singer Sherry Williams. Sherry is known for her buttery voice on such jazz classics as Let's Fall in Love and Summertime. Sherry's successful career started at age 16 when she toured with the Young Americans and has appeared on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. She's played jazz venues worldwide and toured with Eddie Kendricks, Andy Gibb, and the legendary Johnny Ray. Sherry's CD, A Taste of Sherry, won her a nomination on the Grammy ballot. She also has two other CDs, The Way You Love Me and You Must Believe in Spring. Also with us is musician and composer John Rodby. John has worked extensively in TV and film. He was the musical director for Dinah Shore for 26 years, as well as musical director for the Sherry Lewis TV show. John has also worked as a keyboardist arranger for Frank Sinatra, Liza Minnelli, and has worked on such TV shows as Mitzi Gaynor, Dallas, Bob Newhart, Quincy, Heart to Heart, The Gong Show, and X-Files. John likes to compose classical music when nobody's looking. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. It sounds like a bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> it, does. it does. The two of you are so impressive. I think you've played with just about everybody. Just about. Just about. I, I want to hear about your Grammy uh, nomination <laughs> for the Grammy yeah. on A Taste of Sherry. So okay. tell us what that was like. What it really is, it was that I was nominated to be on the Grammy ballot. It's a two-step more than a two-step process. Sure. So actually getting enough critical mass to have people nominate you to be on the ballot, I think, is an achievement. And Phenomenal. But I did not actually make it onto the Grammy ballot. I want to make that clear because I have tons of friends who actually have Grammys, and so it's not fair to them and Emmys and, you know. Well, I still think that's very exciting, really, oh. and, and, and what a tribute to you, really. Uh, it what is. a compliment. No, I'm very grateful. It really is it, it's quite an accomplishment, so I'll just keep trying. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, John, you produced A Taste of Sherry, didn't you? Yes. Tell mm -hmm. us what that was like to work together on that CD. It was uh, actually a very good, very compatible relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd, uh, you know, there were no egos involved, you know, we Always we both, a good thing. Yeah, we're both <laughs> after the same thing, you know, yeah. to, to produce a, a good musical product, and it makes it uh, very easy. That's She's true. very easy to work with, ah, by the way. And how you. did you Likewise. two come to work together? Oh, wow. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was doing an engagement at a place called the Breakers Hotel in Long Beach, right. and her regular piano player couldn't make it, and uh, actually her bass player, Harvey Newmark, mm -hmm. recommended me yeah. as a substitute, and I went in as a substitute uh, for a couple of nights, and uh, I've been with her ever since. Ever since. <laughs> that was 25 years ago? 30 years ago? Um, 20, no, 23. Three, okay. That's right. awesome. Keep me honest. Yeah. Well, the sound is wonderful. Oh, thank you. And Sherry, you just completed an international tour. Tell I us did. about that. It was a busy summer for me. I went to, first I went to uh, Germany. I went to, uh, we flew, I flew into Frankfurt, and I did two concerts, and actually one concert in Erfurt, and then one in uh, Czechoslovakia, in the old Czechoslovakia, the Czech Republic, in uh, Usti nad Labem. And then we went to Northern Italy and did two concerts. And um, then I came home and went back to South America. I went back to France to visit friends, but then I came back and went almost immediately to South America to sing with the uh, Cali, Sim, um, Cali Symphonia. So it was the Cali Philharmonic Orchestra was how they built it. It was a it was a conglomeration. That's very exciting. Oh, it what was. an opportunity! Mm -hmm. Travel the world and do what you love. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, yes. And John, tell us what it was like to work with Dinah Shore for 26 years. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got a minute? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she was a, actually she was a very nice lady, very gracious, very appreciative, and uh, extremely loyal. And uh, we had a very very good working relationship. She was a you know she was as she seemed on the screen. Mm. A real Every person. Every bit as nice. Yeah. She did always come across as a very nice person on on television. She was. Yeah, very likable. Mm-hmm. So um, you collaborated on your other two CDs as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, the CD, the first one we did together was um, called "The Way You Love Me," and um, that one is still available. And that was that's a, that was a beautiful uh, CD. It was still one of my favorites. And then the next one we did. A Taste of Sherry and You Must Believe in Spring, we actually did them at the same time hmm. and left uh, You Must Believe in Spring in the can for, the, for a while until we got everything organized. And then I recently, since we've talked, cranked out another one for the Germany tour oh. called All of You, which I did with the musicians that, uh, with whom I traveled. And that just last week I finished a, a Christmas one because you know you always do those early. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, that, so we've been collaborating on projects for as long as I can remember. Really. And, and how has your, your methodology or your style evolved over the years? Uh, personally, I think it has come, f because I started in variety, mm -hmm. I have a sense of um, theater, but my roots are grounded in jazz because that's the music I heard when I was growing up. My father was a jazz musician. And so, Ultimately, I think what I've become is what Nancy Wilson used to say, or her manager would say, is a song stylist. I love storytelling. Mm -hmm. I like to sing music that tells a beautiful story, but I like the jazz framework. I like improvising. I like the, the interesting chords, because uh, classical music, because I grew up also listening to classical music. So I think it's, it's been an evolution of all those different types of music over the 40 years I've been singing. And you do that so well. Your music is so expressive. Thank you. So uh, do we have a new CD coming out soon? We have one that we keep saying we're going to go and <laughs> knock out. We've both been so busy. Uh, we're going to go into the studio and do a duo CD, just John and I, because we work together so much as a duo. But he just nice. got back from Slovakia. Oh. So we j haven't had time. We just haven't had the time. Have so you've it. been on tour as well. Well, not what I would call on tour. I went to uh, Slovakia to do another classical album. Very nice. And uh, I was there for about three weeks and then uh, went to New York to do the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. You did? Yeah. What did you do with that? Uh, I'm an assistant to Milton DeLug, who's the musical director, and uh, I contract the orchestra and play keyboards and mm -hmm. uh, write gazintas and gazautas and whatever <laughs> else it is. <laughs> Whatever else is needed, you know, and uh, like that. He's humble. All the music that you hear on the parade that's not l performed live, he created. Amazing. That's yeah. a huge job, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's fun. And, of, of course, you know, this year, uh, I think I was telling her, the, uh, the wiggle worm balloon exploded. Oh, no. Uh, one of the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one of the floats crashed into the back of another one. Uh -huh. It had to be towed off, which meant that the uh, Energizer Bunny uh, balloon couldn't be, you know, <laughs> they, they had to bomb that, that balloon. And <laughs> as a result, NBC had to send back a lot of money to Ooh, uh, Duracell. Right. And there was a whole lot of colorful <laughs> language in the booth. <laughs> Well, oh. that's live live uh, productions for you, right? Live that's TV. Right. So. Exactly. But that's that's such a fun day. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. It, ultimately, yeah, and it, it, strangely enough, the ratings were eight per, eight points higher than they were last year. So. Really? Well, there I contributed. Go. I watched it from. I was in Maui, and I watched oh, it fun. Part, as much of it as I could get. Yeah. So um, your CD, all of you, is that available yet? Uh, almost. I'm waiting. I thought I would have it with me today, but uh, so it'll be available in about a week. It's uh, it's was with uh, Marcus Berger on piano, Jim Linehan trumpet, um, Bob Magnuson bass, and um, um, Joe LaBarbera drums. I'm, I couldn't get anybody good. <laughs> you know, I mean, right? It's a great, great CD, and we just cranked it out in a day and a half. 
Well, that I'm looking wonderful. forward to that, and I'm looking forward to hearing you play. In just a moment, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to hear the music of uh, Sherry Williams and John Rodby. You want to stay tuned for that. The falling leaves drift by my window. The autumn leaves of red and gold. I see. The summer kisses those sunburned hands I used to hold. Since you went away, the days grow long and soon. I'll hear old winter song, but I'll miss you most of all, my darling, when all So 